Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> this weekend, bitter rivals who have been desperately pandering for votes and trying to force their politics on America will finally face off in person. I'm, of course, talking about tomorrow's Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> This week, Donald Trump Jr. testified in his father's civil fraud trial. And based on this courtroom sketch, I feel like it didn't go great. He's supposed to be talking about real estate, but he looks like he's on law and order saying, that girl came on to me. <laughs> and unlike the other packed courtroom days, only four people showed up and Donald Trump Sr. was not present, which is just like all of Don Jr.'s childhood birthday parties. The U.S. Energy Department concluded that COVID likely originated from a Wuhan laboratory leak and not a wet market. So I gave up eating bats for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Newspapers around the country dropped the, car the cartoon strip Dilbert after creator Scott Adams said he chose to live in a community where no black people live. So he lives in your building, huh, Colin? <laughs> It, it happened. And yesterday on Truth, on Truth Social, Trump posted a courtroom sketch of him sitting next to Jesus. Because if there's one guy whose trial famously ended well, it's Jesus. The Motion Picture Academy has rejected a request from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to make an appearance during the Oscars, but they promised that Volodymyr Zelensky will be how John Travolta pronounces Viola Davis. A police officer in New York State. A police officer in New York State is being called the baby whisperer after he helped deliver his fifth baby in nine years. Only five babies in nine years, said Nick Cannon. <laughs> Organizers of the Oscars said they changed the color of the arrival carpet from red to champagne so the mood would be more mellow. But, I don't know, switching from red to champagne usually turns me into a full-on bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the House Ethics Committee has announced an investigation into George Santos. Well, thank God I'm not George Santos, said George Santos. <laughs> Donald Trump accused Ron DeSantis of wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare and called the Florida governor a wheelchair over the cliff kind of guy. <laughs> wheelchair over the cliff is also how Melania will finally get rid of him. <laughs> President Biden proposed his budget that would help fund Medicare with a 25% tax on billionaires. Ha! Take that, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> President Biden's proposed budget included $400 million to counter Chinese disinformation. It will target the number one source of Chinese disinformation, fortune cookies. <laughs> no. Newspapers drop the cartoon strip effective immediately, and to rub it in, they're replacing Dilbert with Peanuts Oops All Franklin. <laughs> Dilbert creator Scott Adams' racist rant was in response to the results of a poll that asked respondents the question, is it okay to be white? Oh, I'd say it's more than just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker Carlson seen here laughing at a dog locked in a hot car <laughs> released security footage from the January 6th attacks with the violence edited out and said it proves it was a peaceful gathering which is like editing all the sex out of a porn video and saying it's a short film about being a stepmom <laughs> As this year's award season gets underway, there's growing movement to get rid of the gendered categories of best actor and best actress and instead call them best actor and best actor who got paid less. <laughs> It was, it was reported that the James Bond books are being rewritten to remove offensive material. So the character Pussy Galore will now be called Cooter Aplenty. 
New documents from the Dominion lawsuit reveal texts from Tucker Carlson in which he says he hates Donald Trump passionately and can't wait until he's able to ignore him. That must suck to go on TV and put on a smile and make friends with some psychotic bigot just because it's good for the show. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Colin. <laughs> House Republicans concerned that China could use TikTok to illegally gather information on Americans have voted for a bill that could ban the app nationwide, replied TikTok users. That's how he really dances, too. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> RuPaul, RuPaul harshly criticized lawmakers who support banning drag shows, calling them stunt queen politicians. And let me just say, hallelujah, girl. I, you know, I got to serve realness on this one. These, these dusty breeders are resting on ugly, and I am gagging on it. First Lady Jill Biden said in an interview that she maintains a good balance in the types of advice she offers President Biden, but it's mostly, hold on to the railing. <laughs> this week, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh was found guilty of murder and also found guilty of looking like Will Ferrell dressed as Conan O'Brien. <laughs> and so, I'm sorry, guys, before the show, I switched from red to champagne. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, President Biden said that he supports a bill that would allow the government to ban TikTok, but only because Biden thinks TikTok is a gang member from his old neighborhood. <laughs> a man in Missouri, a man in Missouri is planning to turn an abandoned jail into an Airbnb rental, which will make it the first jail that refuses to accept black people. <laughs> announced that Puerto Rico's only zoo is closing after years of alleged animal neglect. Worse, the zoo is closing. It's being advertised as all you can eat. <laughs> after Walgreens announced that they will stop selling abortion pills in 21 states, CVS has remained silent on the issue. While over at Rite Aid, you can just grab a pill from the take abortion, leave abortion <laughs> Officials at TikTok are trying to stop efforts in Congress to ban the app by launching a campaign called Project Texas because TikTok is their baby and they know Texas won't let them get rid of it. <laughs> Some doctors are worried about a new recommendation asking them to encourage middle-aged women to lose weight. Also worried about women losing too much weight? Black guys. <laughs> reported that the organizers of King Charles's coronation have officially invited Meghan Markle, and this is nice, at a starting salary of $19 an hour. That seems very generous, guys. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you are. Okay. A woman in Atlanta gave birth to her baby in a McDonald's, so caution, wet floor. <laughs> A porn star in Australia revealed that while recently filming a new movie, he broke his penis and said it. <laughs> this is really sad, ma'am. <laughs> he broke his penis and said it went completely black, which you know means it's never going back. <laughs> the man has adjusted to his new black penis by filming all his sex scenes in Timberlands. <laughs> It was announced that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have reached a settlement in their divorce, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that she maybe had an easier time finding a good lawyer. <laughs> a deep sea diver has announced plans to set a new record by living underwater for 100 days. I feel like the record is longer than that, said the people of New Orleans. <laughs> I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> a California man has set a new world record by visiting Disneyland for 2,995 consecutive days, but still no sign of his kid. A new study... 
<laughs> I tried to plow right through. <laughs> a new study finds that married men live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, but for what? <laughs> A man in Florida said he was surprised when he heard a knock at the door and it turned out to be an alligator. Even more surprising, it was doing the thing from Love Actually. <laughs> Officials in Berlin announced that women will now be allowed to go topless at the city's pools. But officials also said to be aware, it's not going to be the ones you want. <laughs> Biologists in Florida are warning that the Jesus Christ lizard, named for its ability to run on water, could spread harmful diseases to humans. They hope to control the population by introducing a punctious pilot lizard. <laughs> Let's see. Law enforcement departments in six European countries arrested nearly 50 drug traffickers who were running a cocaine super cartel. And you know what made the cartel really super? Friendship. <laughs> According to a new report, by 2035, more than half of the world's population will be just how I like them. <laughs> a, photo, <laughs> a photo has gone viral of a 98-year-old woman in Kentucky meeting her first great-great-great-grandchild. Well, I wish I had gotten to meet my great-great-great-grandmother so I could have told her, don't get on that boat! <laughs> I like this so far. <laughs> and plans for a three-year-long around-the-world cruise were canceled after organizers could not find a ship for the voyage. Guys, call me. 